guys! So for today's video, I'm going to do another Coffee with Christy. I actually did my first one of these a couple months ago, and in the comments, a lot of you guys said that you really liked the concept of it. So I thought it would be fun to do another one. So today, I have my coffee in this really boring blue mug, but that's okay because plain mugs need love too. So if you guys have a drink, that's awesome. If you don't, you should go get yourself one. It doesn't have to be coffee. It can be any kind of drink that you like, and then come back to this video and we'll have a chat. So the topic of today's video is going to be about controlling our own positivity. And this is actually something that I've been thinking a lot about recently because I've realized that we have so much power to control how positive our lives are. And I think that that positivity can come in so many different ways, but maybe two of the main ways that it comes is in how we choose to look at things and who we surround ourselves with. So I'm going to start off with talking about how we choose to look at things. So a couple years ago, probably when I was in high school, maybe even the beginning of college, I was always a super negative person. I had a lot of trouble seeing things in a positive light and looking at the bright side of things. And I think that's why I just don't really remember those years in my life, even though they weren't that long ago, because I just didn't see all of the good things that were happening to me. And I think it's amazing that when you do that, when you see that all of these good things are in your life, how they really outweigh all the negative things that happen to you. So that's why I really think it's important to try to be as positive as you can whenever you can. So because I was really, really negative, I actually had to train myself to be a more positive person. And one of the ways that I chose to do that is at the end of every day, I would write down in a calendar or in a journal something good and something positive that happened to me that day. And I think it was great because it really showed me that there is truly good in every day. And some of the days, there would be this blatantly obvious thing that I could write down. And on other days, I would really have to dig for something. But I ended up learning so much from it because it made me realize that positivity doesn't only come from these really big things that happen to us, but they can also come from the really little things. So I would definitely encourage you to do something like this every day, write down something positive that happens to you in a calendar or in a journal, and then maybe at the end of the month, go back through everything and look at what you wrote down. I think it'll definitely show you that so many positive things happen to you, and if you see that, it'll give you the ability to be able to control your happiness and your positivity better. So I think with that, we should definitely drink to looking at things in a more positive light. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is how other people can control your positivity. And this can be something that either works to help you or hurt you. So for example, some days in my life I've just woken up and I've felt this positivity just radiating out of my body. And then I've come across this really, really negative person and all of a sudden I can feel all the positivity I woke up with just draining out. And some people have this amazing ability to not let other other people's negativity affect their own mood, but to be honest, I'm not one of those people, and in reality, it's really hard to be one of those people. But on the flip side, I've also had times in my life where I've woken up and I've just wanted nothing to do with the world, but I've come across a person who was really positive and really changed my outlook on life that day, and those are the kind of people that you really need in your life, the kind of people that supply this positivity for you or help Help keep whatever positivity you have, not the people who just drain it out of you. So my suggestion is to erase all of those negative people from your life. And you really have to be careful with this because it's about erasing the people who are consistently negative, not the ones who made you mad one time. We're all entitled to our bad negative days and I really believe that it's those bad negative days that help us appreciate the more positive ones. It's all about erasing the people that never have anything positive to say, that always are complaining about something, and that can't smile if their life depended on it. Those are the kinds of people who don't belong in your life. And I know it sounds really difficult to do and it sounds kind of harsh to say, well, you know what, you're not really having much of a positive impact on my life and I'm feeling like I don't really need you in it anymore. A lot of people wouldn't be able to do that, but I promise you that once you see how much happier you are without those people in your life, I don't think you'll be sorry. So, I think we should drink to surrounding ourselves with really positive and influential people. 
So guys, I think that's going to be it for today's Coffee with Christy. I hope it was good advice and I hope it drives you to take charge of your happiness and your positivity. And if you have any questions or you have anything to contribute to the conversation, feel free to leave a comment down below and I would love to read them. So I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys have an awesomely positive day and I'll see you in my next video. I keep saying really, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Count the number of reallys that I said in this video, I dare you. <laughs> that was really bad. <sighs> I keep messing up. <laughs>